Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and welcome back to another Photoshop Basics video. Now in this topic, I'm going to cover something that a lot of beginners in Photoshop want to do, and that is how to remove something from an image. We always have this, uh, you know, images that we really, really like, but there's a lot of people in there or something in front of somebody, and we just want to remove something. So I'm going to show you how to remove this person from the image. This is going to be a very simple, straightforward removal of a subject but it'll kind of get you familiar with the uh, processes and the tools that you might need. So when it comes to removing someone or removing an object, it's very, very simple to do. And there's a lot of tools actually that can do this. Uh, you can actually have Photoshop do it uh, kind of automatically with content aware, which we will cover in a different video. Um, or you can use the clone stamp tool. Uh, that's a, a great way of removing something. Uh, you can remove the healing brush. You can do it with a healing brush. Very, very easy, uh, very easy tools to work with. But for this one, because this is a kind of straightforward edit, I'm actually going to use the patch tool. And so over here in Photoshop, you're going to see our toolbar over here. And you can see there's a little tool, uh, kind of icon over here. Kind of looks like a, st a stamp in a way, but really it, it means like a patch. So like a, something you would sew onto a piece of clothing with like a patch. So you would click there and uh, really nothing changes to the image. And this is your opportunity to draw a uh, box or draw a, uh, a line around the subject that you want to remove. And so we have this person right here and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And all I'm going to do is draw a rough outline around them. So you can see I'm not being very accurate at all. It actually helps to give a little bit of buffer room if you want to do that. So you can just kind of go around them and there we go. And now we get the little marching ants. And what this is allows us to do, if you can see the icon here, it has the patch icon with an arrow. And what this means is to move the patch around, move where you drew, uh, move this around. So click and drag, and you can see the kind of the person kind of starts to fade away. And what we can do is move it over to a like area, uh, a likened area to where we uh, need to remove somebody, which would be just to the right of them. Uh, we can actually go to the left here. You can see here. Uh, I'm just going to go to the right here. And what I'm looking for in this particular instance is kind of matching the ground there. You can see that I need to make the ground as level as possible. So I don't want to do this because obviously it's not level. So I'm going to kind of kind of match there. And once I'm good with it, I'm going to just release. And Photoshop is going to do some magic here. It's going to do some content aware magic. You can see up here at the top where it says patch and then content aware. Content aware is a, a really cool uh, intelligence feature that kind of grabs light pixels and starts forming the background for you or forming the area for you. That way you don't have to clone stamp or anything like that. All right, so now that we have the marching ants there to deselect them, we're just going to click the Command or Control D key on our keyboard, and there we go. Our person is removed. We might see a little bit of haloing, a little bit of uh, messiness here, but that can be easily cleaned up by the clone stamp tool, or we can actually just Command Z and do it all over again and try to find a better a better area here. Uh, but that is as easy as it was to remove someone or remove an object from a photo, and now we just have this kind of nice clean image. So. If you want to learn more about Photoshop or Lightroom, uh, see any kind of products that we offer, head on over to sleeklens.com. You see a lot of information there about all of our products, our free blog with tutorials. You can even see our podcast information. So a lot of cool stuff over there at sleeklens.com. This has been Jordan from Sleeklens, and I'll see you in the next video.